Welcome to Spectra Layers Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you four ways to assign Spectra Layers Pro 10 as an ARA extension in Cubase or Nuendo. Let's get started. Now here I have both the Spectra Layers and Cubase applications installed and activated on my computer, and I have two short clips placed on the Cubase timeline. Ah, hello. Good morning, sir. I can open one or both clips in the first method. Here, I'll open just the Kalimba clip since I already have it selected. Move to the Audio menu and select Extensions, Spectra Layers. The single clip opens in Spectra Layers, and now here we can see that a new layer is created with the corresponding name and color. The second method is just as straightforward. Here I have both clips selected, and I'm moving up to the extension panel in the info line and selecting Spectra Layers. Now we have both clips opened on their own independent layers. We can toggle between them on the Cubase timeline to select them for editing in Spectra Layers. Here's another way to access the extension. I have the clips on adjacent tracks, both are selected, and I'm engaging Spectra Layers by hovering over the Kalimba track and performing Command right click and then selecting the extension from here. Same result, both clips now have their own independent layers. In the fourth and final method here, I have one selected clip on the track. I'm applying the extension here in the track inspector. Now, every new clip I drag into the track will get the extension applied automatically and generate a new independent layer. When you need to see Spectra layers in full screen mode, click the open and separate window button, and now you have full screen access to the program. You can back out of this state by clicking on the Open in Lower Zone button. Meanwhile, in Spectra Layers, all the tools are available in ARA mode. The manual selection tools are exact counterparts of tools found in photo and graphics editors, such as Photoshop. In the case of Spectra Layers, it's important to note that every time we introduce a new AI process, these tools become more useful by magnitudes, as you can use them to refine AI processed content. This exquisitely detailed workflow is deeply explored in many Steinberg YouTube tutorials. Here on top, this is where you can configure the manual tools, as well as access both conventional and AI-assisted processes under the Process and Unmix menus. Over on the right, you can adjust the display to your liking. We'll get deeper into the display panel controls in the next video. Below that, you can see and interact with your workflow history, toggle the view between audio channels, and then of course there's the all-important layers panel where a lot of the magic in Spectra layers happens in both standalone and ARA modes. In the next video, we'll take a look at the basics on layers, tools, and processes. Thanks to advanced ARA2 technology designed to build bridges between audio editing applications, Spectra layers can be launched inside Nuendo and Cubase to provide comprehensive, non-destructive visual editing right on the DAW timeline. We hope you enjoyed this video. Spectra Layers delivers state-of-the-art spectral processing for editors in every field. Subscribe to the Steinberg YouTube channel and learn more about how you can leverage this application in your production workflow.